In this video, I want to continue the topic of acid-base reactions. Let's have some examples. We learned uh, the concept of titration. It means that um, how to neutralize acid with base or how to neutralize base with an acid and then calculate the amount of volume or the amount of concentration of reacting acid or base. So the titration of a 10 milliliter sample of, a, of an HCl solution of unknown concentration requires 12.54 milliliter of a 0.1 molar sodium hydroxide solution to reach the equivalence point. What is the consideration of the unknown HCl solution in molar? So here, as you see here for base, we know the concentration and we know the volume. On the other hand, for acid part, we know the volume, but we don't know the concentration of acid. So basically, we have neutralization reaction or acid-base reaction. So what we need to do, we have base, we have one OH, and in acid, we have one H. So in order to have equivalence point, the number of moles of acid must be equal to number of moles of base. So that's the issue. So what is given? 12.54 milliliter of sodium hydroxide solution. And we know the concentration, which is 0.1 molar. And on the other hand, we have 10 milliliter of HCl solution. So the con we need to find the concentration of HCl. So that's the reaction. HCl plus NaOH is going to give us water in liquid and NaCl, which is aqueous solution. It is dissolving. So what we need to do, we need we have the milliliter of NaOH. It is given, as you see here. Here, <clears throat> we need to convert it to liter by this conversion factor. Then we need to multiply it by concentration and then find the number of moles of NaOH or sodium hydroxide. Then, based on this reaction, neutralizing reaction, we can say for each mole of sodium hydroxide, we need one mole of acid for neutralization so one mole of acid per one mole of base so then we can find the molarity of the acid so here we have volume of sodium hydroxide we need to in terms of milliliter we need to do conversion factor to convert the whole thing by liter and then we need to multiply it by concentration so volume times concentration is give us the number of moles of base or sodium hydroxide and then we have this conversion, one mole of acid per one mole of base. So it's going to give us 1.25 times 10 power minus 3 moles of acid. So we need to have 1.25 times 10 power minus 3 moles of acid to neutralize 1.25 times 10 power minus 3 moles of base. So that's the required number of moles. If we divide it by the volume, we can find the concentration. Volume it was given here. 10 milliliter of HCl, which is 10 divided by 1000 to convert it to liter, which is 0.01 liter. So then we can find it, the molarity or concentration, which is going to be 0.125 molar HCl. Let's have another example. What volume of a 0.1 molar HCl solution is needed to neutralize 25 milliliter of 0.35 molar sodium hydroxide so again in this example we have the volume of uh, base and we have the concentration of base we have concentration of acid but we don't know the volume required to neutralize completely the base so here in the acid part we have proton and chloride and on the base side we have sodium and hydroxide so as you know sodium and hydroxide uh, sodium and chloride they're going to react with each other and provide nacl which is solid but it's going to be equal in the solution so it doesn't precipitate so basically we have aqueous solution and we have proton plus hydroxide is gonna result in water so that's the main reactions or main ions involved in our reaction so that's the balanced net ionic equation is gonna be proton plus hydroxide is gonna give us water so what is given we have the volume of base and we have the concentration of base if we multiply it to each other we can find the number of moles of base and based on that we can say one, we need one mole of base to neutralize one mole of acid so then based on the number of moles and the concentration we have we can find the volume so here we have the volume of base 
we need to convert it to liter and then multiply it by concentration we can find the number of moles of hydroxide which is 8.75 times 10 power minus 3 moles we need the same amount of moles for proton or for acid so since H and hydroxide ions react in a one-to-one -one ratio we need 8.75 times 10 power, 10 power minus 3 moles proton ions can be calculated as follows so we have we need to know the volume as we if i go back here we need the volume we know the concentration so based on that we can find the number of moles so number of moles is here the concentration is given we need to find volume so volume is going to be this part divided by this part so 8.75 times 10 power minus 3 moles proton divided by 0.1 mole proton so it's going to be 8.75 times 10 power minus 2 liter or we can say 8.75 times 10 power minus 2 liter or 87.5 milliliter of 0.1 molar hcl is required to neutralize 25 milliliter of 0.35 molar sodium hydroxide next example 28 milliliter of 0.25 molar nitric acid or nhno3 and 53 milliliter of 0.32 molar koh are mixed so as you see here we know the volume and concentration of acid and we know the concentration and volume of base calculate the amount of water formed in the resulting of reaction what is the re concentration of proton and hydroxide ion in excess after the reaction goes to completion so here we need we have the volume and concentration of each of them for the acid part and for base part so based on uh, be, uh, first of all we need to calculate the number of moles of acid and number of moles of hydroxide <coughs> so that's the net ionic equation so we have that's for the acid we have 28 milliliter we need to convert it to liter and here we have the concentration so these two cancel each other liter by liter milliliter by milliliter and finally we get it based on calculation we have 7 times 10 power minus 3 moles of proton that's the remaining unit and on the other hand for base we have 53 milliliter if I go back here we have 53 milliliter of 0.32 molar KOH so 53 uh, milliliter KOH times 1 liter per thousand milliliter to convert it to liter and then we have concentration of a base which is 0.32 mole per liter so if i do that we can find the number of moles of hydroxide so we have 1.7 times 10 power minus 2 so as you see here we have oh excess so the proton is going to be the limiting substance so we're going to have hydroxide in excess after we have completion so since proton and hydroxide react in a one to one ratio the limiting reactant is proton this means that 7 times 10 power minus 3 mole proton ions will react with only 7 times 10 power minus 3 moles of hydroxide to form 7 times 10 power minus 3 moles water so from this amount only 7 times 10 power minus 3 is used to neutralize acid the rest is going to be excess in solution so the amount of hydroxide ions in excess is obtained from the following difference so original amount minus amount consumed is going to give us amount in excess so 1.7 times 10 power minus 3 moles hydroxide minus the amount that is reacted to neutralize acid which is 7 times 10 power minus 3 moles hydroxide is going to give us 1 times 10 power minus 2 moles hydroxide